Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to our very first health discovery um, last Thursday of the month club. So please feel free to engage and ask your questions while we are doing the presentation. Um, as always, our presentation is being recorded. So if you do not want to ask your questions while we're recording, we will be available after the presentation for our one-on-one -on -one questions. Um, we have Leandro Vint from uh, Discovery Health here with us tonight, as well as Gerda. Everybody knows Gerda by now. <laughs> and so they're here to help me with all the technical questions that might arise. OK, so Discovery Health. Let's start with the app. Um, everybody in this room has some sort of a Discovery product. Um, so meaning that you should have a login and password for the website. So the website password will also unlock all the apps that you see on the screen. It will unlock the main discovery app, your discovery bank app, your discovery insurer app. So each person, all dependents should have their own username and password. Um, so the main member will have access to all your information on the app. Um, all the medical aid information, all the insurer information. But your dependents will have access to their personal information. So they won't have access to the full app like you do, but they will have access to their information. Good. Okay, so most of you have seen this diagram. Shelley's created this to explain all our health plans to our clients, just to make it easy for you to understand. Okay, so one of the fundamental needs of financial planning is to ensure that you have a good medical aid for when you need it most, for an injury, an illness, a planned procedure, um, so that you know that you are covered. Um, not just for your medical circumstances, um, but also for your financial um, situations. So if you marry those two up, you put them together um, and find a plan within the discovery network. Um, this is why we need to establish that you are on the right medical aid plan. So we're just going to look at the fundamental basics of the discovery plans tonight. Um, there's a lot more information that goes into it when we decide which plan you need to be on. Okay, so I'm going to keep it very simple and try and explain it so that everybody understands what their plan offers them by the end of um, this evening. So the first step that we look at um, when we are looking at a medical aid is called our core plan. Another name for it in the market is our risk benefit. So um, this, per, uh, this covers you for when you are admitted to hospital, not your casualty visit. So say for an example, you go in, you get stitched up, you need to do that x-ray, you get sent home with medication. That comes, that forms part of your day-to-day -day benefit. It will not be covered on our core plan. 
The core plan is when you are admitted into a hospital, when you've done all those nasty paperwork and um, you stay there overnight or you go in for a day procedure, that procedures are paid from our risk benefit. Um, with our risk benefit, we also have chronic medications and encompassed with that is our um, maternity plans and our oncology that covers you um, from the risk benefit. So you don't need the day to day and it's also available on all the plans that we're discussing here tonight. Okay, so any questions on the core plan? So if during a consultation you say, Shirley, Lindsay, Estelle, I need more protection. I need protection for that day-to-day -day benefits, um, for that uh, doctor's visit, for the optometry, for dentistry. We will add a medical savings account to your core benefit. Um, this medical savings account is a pool of money that we supply you up front for the year. So in January, you get your um, lump sum of money and that stretches out for the full year. That's where all our dentistry, doctor's visits, optometry, all gets paid out. Should you reach a zero balance on your medical savings, your um, further expenses for that year will be covered from your pocket, like with the core plan. Cool. Again, if you say to myself, Shirley or Lindsay, you need more cover, you need that peace of mind that you will be covered for the full year round. We will then look to include um, our next level of protection. So after your medical savings, you'll be going into a self-payment gap. That's where you put your money, your hand in your pocket and pay for your medical expenses until you reach a certain limit then the discovery above threshold benefit would kick in. It's another level of uh, protection, like the risk portion, where your day-to-day -day benefits are then covered from up to a discovery health rate. So the next element that we'll be looking at um, when considering uh, what plan to go on to is either a classic plan or an essential plan. So in the case of a classic plan, we will, dis um, discovery will pay the two times discovery health rate. So the discovery health rate is um, implemented, um, or it's a suggestion that the counselor medical scheme say, this is what we think a doctor should charge um, for a certain procedure. So discovery says that if you're on a classic plan, we'll pay mm -hmm. twice that amount to the practitioner. On the essential plan, we'll just pay one time the discovery health rate. So if you've gone for a procedure and the doctor charges his amount and we've paid the two times on a classic plan and there's still a shortfall, that's typically where gap cover would come into the market. But that is something that we'd discuss in the next session. So um, with our classic and our essential plans, we can also introduce the Delta network. So a Delta network is a network of hospitals that we have for our Delta clients. So what that means is we take a certain amount of hospitals, we have a payment arrangement with them, and um, the doctors contract into that rate and then we offer it to our Delta clients. So if you have a planned procedure and you're on a Delta network, you will make use of our Delta network hospitals. It's so very important to look at the list of hospitals that we offer on the Delta network to make sure that there's a hospital in your area, that you know which of the hospitals are on the Delta network. So also very important to know on the medical savings account, um, on classic plans, 25% of your premium um, will go into your medical savings account. 
to the mutual medical savings account. On the essential plan, only 15% will go towards your medical savings account. So when we look at the plans, the essential plan might look um, much more cost effective. But we can appreciate that the cover is less, so the premium will be less. Okay, so an alternative that we also have um, is the SMART plan. The SMART plan has network hospitals like the Delta um, network, similar but not exactly the same hospitals. So there are a lot of hospitals that are on the Delta and on the SMART network, um, but they also differ. So the, what the SMART network does, um, SMART plan is like a hospital plan. Um, it pays 200% if you have a classic plan, 200% in hospital, but it also offers you day-to-day -day benefits. Even though you have no savings account linked to this plan, we offer you the doctor's visits, optometry and dentist visits within the smart network. So you can go to a smart network doctor, pay a co-payment, and then have your doctor's visit on the plan, even though you have no medical savings. It also has additional cover for sporting injuries. So it's called a smart plan because it uses smart technology. It's on your smart um, your membership card is on your phone. You won't get the plastic card if you're on the smart plan. So it's more geared to our younger generation that's already using the, the smart technologies. Okay. So if you believe that you are not on the right plan currently, please make contact with one of us so that we can set up an appointment. Um, with myself, Lindsay or Shirley to guide you through the plans and then see if we should be upgrading or downgrading for any reason. Um, Discovery has also decided to give back to their members in 2023. So we've introduced a wealth fund. So it's a benefit that's available this year. It's a once in a lifetime benefit um, that Discovery has um, implemented. So to unlock the wealth fund, I'm sure I've gone through this with most of you guys, um, you need to do a health screening test, like a vitality um, screening test that we do here um, once a month on a Saturday morning. So to um, the screening tests um, are very basic. So these include your blood pressure, your blood sugar, cholesterol, your um, weight and body index assessment, and then your non-smoker declaration. So once you've done these screening tests, um, all members above the age of 18 will receive a 2,500 rand benefit. Um, members over the age of two will receive 1,250 and then there's a limit for the overall for a bigger family of 10,000 Rand per family for the wealth fund. So the wealth fund will be allocated to the membership, not to the member. So say for instance, there's a family of four and you go and you do all your screening and prevention um, as the main member, the fund, and you go up to the 10,000 Rand, you will deplete the wealth fund. So it's not per member, it's per membership. Can you carry that through to next year or do you have to use it? No. So if it's not used by the end of the year, the end of the year it should be it will be uh, yeah. Okay. But <laughs> by the end of 2024, it will fall away. So it's just it's not carried over now. So the new rates for 2024 will be out um, between mid-October, end of October. Emails will be sent out to the main members on the scheme directly from Discovery. So should you need to look at or need any assistance, um, 
the new rates are coming out, so we can share that with you. Please make sure that your contact details with Discovery are correct, because the emails will be sent out to the email addresses on the system. Okay, so let's look at the website. <laughs> so if you're on the website and we've created that username and password for you, um, there's so much that you can do um, without picking up the phone, giving me a call, giving Discovery a call. Um, it's all there for you to print out or just to access when you need it the most. Um, tax certificates, membership certificates, um, checking your chronic medications to see why that chronic is being paid from your medical savings account and not from your chronic benefit. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff on the website, which is going to briefly go through that. So when you log onto the website with your username and password, this is the screen it will bring you to. So you're going to click on medical aid. And it will give you a big drop down box. Don't feel overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to show you how. So when you are submitting a claim, we will go on to view and track your claims. Um, we'll click on submit a claim. And then upload now. So it's important to remember to save your JPEG or your PDF document where it's most accessible when you are looking for it to upload it. Um, also very important is when we are submitting claims um, to make sure that we don't submit a proof of payment. Proof of payment for discovery is a blank document. Um, we, need the, we need your personal details on there firstly. Then we need your healthcare provider's details on there. Those ICD-10 codes and procedure codes should be on there. Um, that would just help to make your claim go so much quicker when you do submit it. Um, so as soon as you have uploaded, it will give you a reference number. Please also important that claims over four months will be considered expired. So we have four months to submit the medical aid claims. Okay, downloading tax certificates. Um, tax season has passed now, but for anyone who hasn't downloaded their tax certificate, um, again, if we logged in and we clicked on the medical aid, um, the drop down box would say, find your documents and certificates. Um, it will give you quite a few options, but we're gonna do the tax certificate now. And then it will, as soon as you go in, it will give you the option of the tax certificate or a tax summary. So we need the tax certificate when we are submitting our documents. So it will ask you for the tax year. You can pull multiple tax years. And then your default email address will automatically be in there for you to send the email. And that will be directly sent to you instantly. So you don't have to wait a day or two for us to send it to you. Um, same with membership certificates. We again go to find your documents and certificates. We will then go to your membership certificate. And again, we will email it. But here we have the option of delivery method. So we can download it or we can email it to ourselves. So then it's in your box. Chronic medication, this is one we do very often with our clients um, when they do come to the office to see what they are covered for. Um, so when you click on manage your health plan, um, it will take you to a screen like this. Um, this would confirm your membership number, uh, what plan you're on, the total medical savings for the year, how much medical savings is remaining for the year. If you're on a higher plan and you have the self-payment gap or the above threshold, this is where you'll see what your above threshold is and when you will enter the um, above threshold. Okay, back to chronic medication. If you scroll down on that screen to the very bottom, you'll see view your chronic records. So just on the chronic medication, um, there's a form that your doctor fills in. The doctor can do it online in his office. So he doesn't need to complete the form. They have the systems to do it right there and then. 
Um, as soon as that doctor applies for the chronic medication, it will be approved by discovery and you'll find a similar screen like this. So there's no chronic medication registered on um, this membership, but if there was, the main member would see a, a drop down box. So for yourself and all your dependents, so you can pick whose chronic conditions you need to view. So the chronic conditions will be listed on the website. And then if you scroll down more, it will show you the basket of care that your doctor has applied for. So all your doctor's visits, your specialist visits, um, maybe a diabetes test, uh, urine test, everything that the doctor has applied for will be showing on the website. So you can see what benefits you still have for the uh, remainder of the year. Okay, so all these functions can also be done on the Discovery Health app in the palm of your hand. So if you do not have the Discovery app, please stay behind so that we can download it for you. Because also there you can submit your medical claims, pull your tax certificates, you can pull your international travel documents on the app. And it's like 30 seconds and you have whatever you need. It's quicker than making that phone or sending that email request link for it. I'm going to show you how that's done. So can everybody see the video, right? Okay, so we're going to start with the membership card on your app. So now you've left your purse at home. You, there's no way you remember your me medical aid number, but with your cell phone, you can pull the card. So once you're in the app, you're going to click on the medical aid. As soon as the video starts. The video is not working, so we're not doing a video. Um, so I click on what? Yeah. It's not, I did yeah. that. Okay, we're not doing a video for this one. So if you click on medical aid, it will open the very next screen. We will probably see it on one of the other videos. And it's it's written there in blue, um, medical aid card. So as soon as you click on it, um, it will open your card, which looks exactly like the plastic card. It's just on your phone. So you don't need to carry it with you. It is available on your phone. Um, same with your tax certificates. You see, there's the view your membership card option. So that's the very next screen. Um, downloading your tax certificates on the app. Um, I think this one works. Now, Lindsay, I broke it. Very <laughs> good. Okay, so then we just started over, Shane. Okay. So when we are in the medical aid, we'll click on fire, manage and find your documents, scroll down to documents, click on tax certificates, going to open, we're going to say email tax certificate, pick the year, pick your um, preferred email address, and then say submit, and it will be emailed to you instantly. Same with downloading your membership certificates. We'll again go to manage um, your plan and find documents. We'll be scrolling down, going to documents, and we'll say membership certificate. And we pick our email and submit. Much quicker than sending an email or waiting for us to return your email with a membership certificate or a tax certificate. Um, one that we very often use is the international travel document. show you how to get those we're going to go back into the documents we're going to scroll down to international travel we're going to say request a new letter we're going to pick our email and say who's traveling 
Currently, Lindsay is going to Argentina in the Bahamas. <laughs> Lucky you. Lucky you. And then we're going to go back and we say submit. So with your international travel document, a benefit guide will be sent to you, as well as a form for um, applying for additional chronic medication. So when you do go over for six months and you need that six months medication, please remember that there's a form that we need to complete and send back to Discovery prior to um, traveling. They also have a very strict rule that your additional medication can only be picked up 24 hours before your flight. So if you pick it up earlier than the 24 hours, it will be for your pocket or from your medical savings, which won't be nice. But with the form and the 24 hours, it will be paid from your chronic benefit. Hey, this is my favorite video, submitting a claim. Um, it's that easy. So we're just going to go back into medical aid. We're going to scroll down to submit a claim. We're going to say scan a claim document. Eventually. And then we'll select a patient if there's multiple patients on the membership. And then we'll say scan a claim. So your phone's going to confirm that it's allowed to use your camera. You will give it access. And we'll scan the claim. And please make sure that all four corners of your claim is right inside of your frame and that it's clear once you've taken the picture. So then we'll say submit and it will instantly give you a reference number. See, 30 seconds later and we submitted a claim, much quicker than driving to me or emailing it to me. Not that I mind. <laughs> I see some faces. <laughs> but it's there if you want to try it out. Play around with it. Um, everything in blue on the app or on the web, you can click on and it will take you to another screen. So play around with it. You can't break it. If you do, I'll fix it. <laughs> Promise. Okay, so that's our app. Um, I know we can still find a healthcare provider on the app. Um, also very fun, if you're traveling and you don't know where to go to a doctor and you're not feeling well, you can go onto your app, you click on the find a healthcare provider mm -hmm. and it would give you doctors in your direct area that is contracted in to Discovery. So it will pick up your plan from the app. It will pick up your area that you are in from your um, phone, from your um, location. And it would tell you where the doctors are, where the hospitals are. If there's something specific that you're looking mm -hmm. for, you can type it in at the top in the search bar. Most important to remember all those green um, highlighted areas that says um, network covered or partially covered or no cover. Just make sure that the doctor you're picking from the app is fully covered on your membership. Lindsay was searching for a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, this presentation will be available on our website, www.candy2020.ca.za. Um, so, if you guys need to go back and just recap on where to find that tax certificate, where to go and find that doctor or that hospital, um, this is where you would go to. We also have very nice gift bags tonight, sponsored by Herda. So, what I want to do is I have barcodes. So, if you guys can scan my barcodes and give us a like on our website or Instagram or Facebook, we will give you a free gift back. <laughs> so please come and like our website so that you can have all this information. Lindsay and Shirley was very hard to get all this information on our website to get that information to you when you need it most. When we're not in the office and you need something, it's all there on our website. Okay. 
So I want you guys to join us next month um, on the 28th of September. We're going to do wills and trusts. So please help us to help you to get all your affairs in order. So thank you very much for sitting through my very first presentation. Well done. <laughs> so anyone have any questions for me? You guys are very quiet. I just want to mention something. I'm going to ask to unlock the whole family must have the wealth of chips. Not only one individual. So, if one individual of the family goes, it doesn't unlock them. So, I just picked it up because I went with my chips and my husband did, but it was still locked. We yeah. couldn't understand. But then it was my daughter that still needed to go for her wealth chip, and they only 10,000 men open up. So, it's the whole family that needs to go. I wanted to get up a I'm investigating why it wasn't the blackness between the family. It's very interesting. Yeah. Once you've opened it up, then what does that, so I didn't be 5,000 rand, what does that cover? So anything screening and prevention, um, you'll, if you go for, you, for a blood pressure, for a blood pressure test or... blood pressure. I play all those stuff, allergic and everything, supporting food goes, food blood tests, all those things. Something I can pick up that I can also mention, we went for uh, cancer tests. Um, I just got a little log on the, on the back and I just wanted to go and check it out. And I saw it came from that. And I didn't know if it worked. Yeah, it would automatically. Yeah, I picked that up. Yeah, that would be the case of prevention. Tests like your mammogram. So we used to pay the, the mammogram test from your medical, uh, from the screening and prevention, and then the doctor would be paid from your medical savings account. Now the wealth fund picks that doctor's visit up because it's for screening and prevention. Same with your dentist. So your dental checkup used to pay from your medical savings. This year it pays from the wealth. So it just helps your medical savings just to stretch that a little bit uh, further this year. Remember, whenever you don't use your savings account, you just carry it over to the next year. Yeah. And so that just helps you actually be the So it will start by paying from the wealth fund and then. And when it's finished, will you get notification? You, you can actually see it on your app. It shows you the This is what is good. Yeah. Just something interesting. I think why did this coming to do it and decided to do this? So in COVID, we realized there was clients that would go for any checkups. Mm -hmm. And now we actually pick up. Uh, uh, like cancer on stage four um, and three, we really see you couldn't actually prevent them or if they just went for the checks. So we decided to implement this because we've got also all the money available because the people didn't go for the checks. And so then we decided to give it back to the clients by opening up this fund and actually motivate the clients now to go for the checks. And that means that we can pick up stuff earlier it's part of the treatment because then it's just for us we're saving costs because then we uh, to, to catch something on the later stage is just something and that's what's that's what we're starting with. Anyone else? I ask a question on claims. Of course. Okay, I thought they have all that, but I've not been lucky enough to really take the right photographs. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, oh. Okay. That is it. So I go along to my local three at one, and I say, he's scared, he's three claims on the deputy stick. I submitted this one claim. Discovery oh, I'm sorry. That's a oh, I'm not broken. Discovery the process only the first convenience. Nothing about the second or third one, but it can form you anything like that. Why is that? No major points to pick. So you're submitting it to claims at discovery.ca.za. So it's an automated system that picks up that claim. It's not a human picking up that claim. But if you do it on your app, you're going to have three attachments. You're not going to only have one attachment. So I suggest because you don't like the app because you don't like taking the picture with the app. No, no. Don't seem to be successful in taking the picture. The final sort of thing. Can I try and ask you to take the picture before you go onto the app? So get the picture on your phone. And instead of saying scan a document, you're going to go upload a document. And then it's in your gallery already. So you've taken the picture. You're happy with the picture. It's clear to you. 
then you upload that document. Okay. Um, I find it sometimes work better for people to first then standing there being nervous, trying to take the picture inside that frame it's given you. So try that. If not, find a different way. Okay. Is that it? You want to add anything? I think mean, that the most issues that we, we experienced from queries and stuff is that we um, claim submitted, but the codes that the provider has given us is not the correct code yeah. for the procedure. And then the study comes back and they reject this because I, I, I can't think of the example now, but the same thing they tell us we went in for this and that specific procedure is not covered and then they gave us the wrong code. But sometimes it's a human error. We had a claim uh, for an in-hospital claim. So as you all know, in-hospital should be paid from the risk benefit. And instead of theater time, they've claimed for a wheelchair. And it was a, a, a silly human error. And they rejected it. And it was a big amount. And after a couple of emails, we got it fixed. So, so those things, they don't really we can get it fixed. Because of that, as you just said before, it's a human error. So uh, assistant sitting there, she wasn't part of this whole thing, and she might have a error and then the client gets rigid. Sometimes just to come to the doctor's office and they resubmit it right there and then on the website and it pays out correctly. But once we had a situation with this, it became actually quite irritating and annoying. We submitted something to discover that his ICD 10 codes are really long. I went back to the service provider and said, this is what discovery says. The service provider said that discovery is not what they're talking about. And this went on for about four or five months. And you feel like this idiot sitting in the middle. The service provider says discovery doesn't know what they're talking about. Discovery says the doctor doesn't know what they're talking about. And now you sit down, you don't know what these behind codes are, but you're sort of sitting down and it's coming out of your pocket because you're getting paid. You know, between discovery and the doctor, they can't sort out. And it's just so irritating, this whole thing, that why do we have to, you know, we are the victim in yeah. You know, we done nothing wrong. But between the doctor, you know, whether the doctor gives a kind of A, B, C, or D, it's nothing to me. It really does. Because I don't know, it's not the job to understand on. But you sit here going between the selfish case. The good news is that most of the practice got now a tablet where they actually, the ICT codes we've already supplied. So we actually find it with the information. Yeah, the so they just go in yeah. and take the red one. So the mistakes, it's a lot bigger. But I could pick up a sample for all the practices where the guys are not on board and get the new function. If that's the case that you, you're you using a specific provider and it's problems, you can ask them to escalate it to Shirley because then we can get our end of this to go out and assist them. Because I think it will also help the doctor because the doctor also gets frustrated because he doesn't get paid. Mm -hmm. And you get frustrated because you get this bills and stuff. And then you can just go and sort it out. But be most of the times I'll claim the doctor's now. You'll claim and then you claim the against the scale. So they have to compare two damn things. You know, they have to do what they're talking about. And the spell fights with the for you. This was before us. With the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The doctors have been paid. The doctor said discovery are wrong. And now I'm the one who's out of the get Absolutely nowhere. No, that's what I'm telling you now. Being with Shirley is a benefit because the fact is, it's not that hard to promote and decide to The thing is, she will have actually been explained to our management that we are aware of the market we're still in. And that happens on a daily basis. I mean, that the staff will come to me and say, you know, I'm proud of this list of this getting involved, and then we give it to us all. And I think that's the benefit by not looking through policy. Because if a policy is just another number, mm -hmm. but ensure with being with financial plan is the, is the benefit of she with us all the time. And just another thing, um, the codes that you're talking about is not a discovery code. It comes from the counselor medical schemes. So they provide every year, we get an updated list of ICD-10 codes. So does every healthcare provider that's contracted in with discovery. So your doctor should have exactly the same codes as us on the system. Is I agree with that. <laughs> it should happen. If it doesn't work, let me know. But have you, uh, 
Has your claim be sorted now? Oh, yes, it has. This would be before I joined you guys. Of course, it was. You said it's good about two years ago. It came in the school. That's why we stand strong when we go to Shirley. Shirley will explain to us that we can help. Definitely. And it's done. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.